CEO Ronald from Create a Difference. We have an Omega Crux and a Pitch Purple at the exact same layout. And we're gonna check the surface of these two bowling balls. 4,500, 4,500. So this is actually an interesting test because the surface of these bowling balls is the exact same. We're gonna use some specto data to help us analyze the performance of both these balls. So we're gonna start off first with the Pitch Purple. We're gonna watch it go down the lane. And this is a mild, mild reactive ball. It just got 10 back. So we're gonna go over here, take a look at the Specto data. It's gonna be able to show us kind of how the ball rolled down the lane, as well as the hook. So we got 21 boards of hook there. And we'll take that information. And now we will switch gears and we will throw the Omega Crux. So one of the things, obviously, that's kind of neat is that surface is obviously one of the most important variables when it comes to bowling. Um, and these bowling balls have the exact same surface, so we're able to get a real good comparison of the other variables that come into play, cover stock, core, um, performance, to be able to see a true difference in these two bowling balls. So that ball struck as well. The question is, what does Specto say? So that shot looks like... If you go ahead and click on it, let's see what the difference is. So that shot was a little bit outside, uh, but it wasn't very much. So it was, looks like it's a board different at the laydown and a 1.2 boards different at the arrows and the hook. It was about a board less, no, about a half a board less for the ball number two, which was the Omega Crush. Show those two again. Show the first one, pitch purple, pitch purple. Now show Omega Crush. And then go back to the Specto data again. So what matters here is this total hook. So in this case, what it's saying is that the pitch purple hook a little bit more than the Omega Crux. But to be fair, right, we're going to do it again. We'll do it again. Throw two more shots. And the reason why I'm saying to be fair, uh, do the pitch purple first, please. To be fair, the reason why I say this is because it's always a function of what you're bowling on, right? So what we're bowling on currently is the Beijing pattern, which is a, which is a tough pattern. Um, and it's interesting to be able to show you how important surface plays into yeah so basically he's going to move on this time it's important to show you how important the surface is to the overall performance this is going to actually going to move left and get around this more so now we'll be able to see a little bit more oil um, and we'll be able to see a little bit more performance or a little less performance we'll be able to let the bowling balls kind of show us that so he moved in there obviously that shot is in you can see it moved in there he went into 24 to 17 that time we wouldn't show the ball motion of that as it went down the lane so there that is, and it's crossed over Brooklyn. And the total hook was actually higher, right? So the hook went to 25.2. So now we're gonna go ahead and switch balls, and we're gonna throw the Omega Crux there too. And give you a little bit of insight. And like I said, here's the key. The key is the surface of these balls is the exact same. They do not come from the factory the exact same. And if they were different from the factory, surface being such an important variable, the ball reaction may be different. But this is a comparative test where the surface is the exact same. All right, look at that. He gets the kicks the six pin out regardless. So that one was two boards in at the lay down. We'll show it down here. There we go, let's show it. Go ahead and hit the go. We'll show it going down the lane. And it ended up a little bit weaker overall, right? So we got uh, a little bit less total hook as well. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the other direction. Let's play out. Seems to be play out now. So we're gonna, you know, three different lines just to kind of see uh, how the balls perform. Now the Omega Crux, like I said, being one of the stronger storm balls, asymmetric, it's gonna to wanna to pick up earlier um, and that can actually turn into less hook down lane. The Pitch Purple, being symmetric, um, can give you some more back in. And this is a good case when it happens, well, this is a good case to be able to show you the difference from different parts of the lane. So now we're gonna play outside. Boy, oh boy, that Pitch Purple looks pretty solid. All right. So we're going to go back over here and let's see. Oh, yep, definitely way, way further outside. Set that ball down at 10 and got it to 6. And the total hook on that was 22.9 boards. So eh, about the same as it was before. It's been uh, 21, it's been 25, and that one is basically 23. Definitely different part of the line. So now we're going to switch gears again, go back to the Omega Crux. And we're going to show the Omega Crux there. And kind of show you the difference. Now, it doesn't mean one ball's good and one ball's bad. It, that, that's not what this means at all. It just means that these bowling balls can perform differently. And depending on what you're bowling on, that may be advantageous for you to know which one you need in your bag. He's gonna throw the Omega Crux. That ball got a nice little 10 back as well. Oh, those shots were really, really close. So 10.3 and they were 
basically right on top of each other. Go ahead and show that one going down the lane. Yeah. Omega Crux. Omega Crux. And then the pitch purple from outside. And the total hook on that was 22.6 versus 22.9. So effectively the exact same. As a matter of fact, the pitch uh, purple had slightly, slightly more hook, but pretty much the exact same. So now you have some more information, right? Depending on what part of the lane you're playing, you could obviously change your total amount of hook. Depending on what type of player you are may impact what type of bowling ball you prefer in your arsenal. Whether it's a high-end ball like an asymmetric Omega Crux, or maybe it's a symmetric ball like a lower-end reactive mild urethane ball like a pitch purple. If you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Right on, I can see you from Creating a Difference. Have a great day.